Hi Project Rack fans, we're back out here in the garden and today we're going to be assaulting the pond. So today's target is to take these posts out that used to hold up uh, the sides of the bridge. Uh, also take out the supports for the bridge and any other random sort of rocks that we find around here. And then just try and turf all this rubble, anything rubble wise, into the pond. So I've been chipping away a couple of minutes. And, uh, well, in typical stand fashion, this is a much older post that he hasn't bothered to remove. And then put this one in directly alongside it. So, been going uh, an hour or so now. We've cleared out that side, taken all the stone out, lowered it down so that the profile of the slope is... A bit more natural there's still too much drops away just beyond that sort of rather sad looking daffodil there's a bit too much drops away down there but essentially i want to take uh the hump that you can sort of I'll bring my finger in just about there and you take that out just to smooth that out but then that gives us the angle that i'm aiming for down on this side and then this whole side which had a waterfall in it uh need to dig this out but what i'm finding is over this side i don't know if you can hear this Absolutely everything is stone. So I've got to identify the stones first, and then work out how to best attack them and dig them out. So hey guys, check this out. In digging out the post that was here and covering this conduit and hose pipe and all sorts of things. Check this out, look. It's a massive, massive nut and bolt. Um, you can tell it's a nut and bolt because you can see some of the thread here. Uh, yeah, I mean, where the heck's that come from? It could have been left over from the railway, because remember, our railway line is just there. So, possibly, who knows? So, I've been going a couple of hours now. I've dug back, dug out all of the posts, which was my target for the day. Um, as you can see, I've dug down uh, all the bank uh, around the bottom here, around these trees, L lowered it down um, about probably 30, 40 centimetres or Still got to dig out this mound here. This is the, the sort of waterfall area. There was a, you can see this pump here was the exit pipe. This pipe here actually goes down there and led to a pump that I dug up from over there. And it ran down here. You can see the butyl liner and into this first pond, things like that. But all of this lot here, um, these are sort of rocks that I thought, yeah, we'll keep these. Um, these have all come out around the edge of this. So it actually was a pretty substantial and really rather elaborate um, pond. And it probably was really, really nice. But to give you an idea what we're fighting through, uh, here is, that's actually a lower footpath. This is the path. And it's just got so overgrown that actually to see the path underneath, it's under uh, at least a good centimeter of soil. Can you see that? Um, before you get down to the paving slabs. And that's how much Leaf litter has turned into soil, it's then got turned, then of course, mosses and grasses have grown. And every time you take a swipe at anything, it's like you don't know whether you're gonna hit a stone or a, or a chunk of plant or just some soft soil, but it is actually not that hard to work at the minute, so. And we're done. <laughs> 